Someone wrote in and said, okay, here it goes. When I started watching a couple of your videos, the first thing I thought was, what can a fag and a fatty teach me about sex anyway? Very quickly, the answer became very clear, a heck of a lot. Thank you very much for teaching all this great content and buckling down to learn many things that I thought I knew but was not even close. Sorry for the blunt honesty, but I think it's much better to, that way than to pretend. You're not a fag. <laughs> I am queer. Kathy Vartuli from the IntimacyDojo.com. And read back up from AboutSex.com. Um, yeah, thank you for. We're glad uh, they were helpful. Yeah, um, and I don't think you actually defi- define yourself as a fag. Is no, that- I don't. I don't. But I put penises in my mouth. So some people, that's all they need to to use and the labels places, that they want to. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so I I technically identify as queer. I sleep with all kinds of people. It's mm-hmm. just a better umbrella term. The, um, some people would say I'm bisexual, uh, but I like queer because. You know, I recognize there's more than two genders and, you know, it gets complicated. Maybe complicated is not your thing. But so, you know, if, but if somebody wants to call me a fag as a six foot tall, 230 pound white guy walking around uh, with two black belts, I'm like, OK, th- thanks. And I'm technically fat. That's the word. I have extra fat cells on my body. Um I really love the the fact that this person was willing to get past preconceived notions because our society is abounds with them around who is okay to learn from, who's mm-hmm. sexual, who's not. Um, and one of the things that one of the reasons I do these videos and, and you know ask we to do them all the time is because I'm a stand for everybody having a sexuality and a voice and having any perspective have a way forward. And I really value that someone could question their values and, and go, huh, I did learn something from these people. I'd encourage you to look a little bit deeper and question your definition of what makes people value, valuable. Um, I'm always doing that for myself because I think we have layers of them. And like we're like, oh, no, not that person. Oh, well, that person's really smart. Um, we, we were trained by watching TV and reading magazines and constantly surrounded by people that if you don't look a certain way or act a certain way, you don't have valuable knowledge, and that's not the case. So I really appreciate that you're willing to admit that you found some great stuff here, mm-hmm. and um, I encourage you to uh, maybe deconstruct a little bit why you think that someone who's big or fat or... Um, Puts penises in their mouth. Might not have information that's useful. It could have easily been that you never thought that you could get good relationship and sexuality advice from somebody with 19 patents and a well, PhD. Some or, I don't know, whatever else I've done. A cuddle party person. The person who created cuddle parties. Or, or had the, a comic strip in the town newspaper when they were and nine. And played evil male nurse on this. Played an evil male nurse on Another World. Uh, or was the cowboy stripper in Salt and Peppa's none of your business, ladies and gentlemen? I am the one wearing the red thong. There you go. Check that out. Huh? Huh? So again, we really appreciate that you wrote in, um, and we're so glad you're getting good information from these. We put a lot of heart and soul in them. Stay curious, America, and the rest of the world, because YouTube's international. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. And please subscribe to this channel there. If you'd like to see more of you, Reed and Kathy, there's more videos there. I didn't see them. Why are they there?